If you're unhappy about something, don't just complain to the athletic director. No, make your make your voice heard to the president. Make your voice heard to the board of trustees as well. Because sometimes it's not always just on the AD. You know, and I know a lot of people want to jump down and say, oh, most Archer. of the time, I'm I'm gonna go a step further. HBCUs, most of the time, it ain't on an HB, it ain't on the ADs. Mm -hmm. It's driven, it's driven above them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what would you, <laughs> if we think about going into the new year, Vaughn? What are some things that you would like to? What is on your your uh, the new year wish list for FAMU in 2024? Whether it be sport or athletics, it just in general. What what's your uh, I guess we can say your Christmas wish list for FAMU in 2024? Secure Willie Simmons. Mm. What, what, amen what, to that. What, what, what amen it, to that? But plain, it's plain. It's plain and simple. Don't expect that damn man to come back to the same contract. Secure what, Willie Simmons. Act like you appreciate like? him now. Because let me tell you what, Kelvin and I. I think Kelvin might have been working with me and athletics when we went one and ten, and we had to do all of the same stuff we have to do for a thirteen and one team. You got to do all of that for a, a one and ten team, and it's a totally different process. We've we've got our guy. Okay. Make sure he's happy. Make sure he stays. I, I don't think it takes what it would take another school to lure him away for us to keep him. But we got to make the commitment. We got to stop looking at old things and say secure Willie Simmons. That means right field house, huh? That means things get him, like a get field him, house. Get him, get him a double deck of field house with an actual meeting room, but that's not the locker room where he can sit in front of all his players and 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 actively teach and have meetings and that sort of thing. I like they somebody to put hashtag, yeah, <laughs> hashtag secure Willie Simmons. That's simple. That's that's it. I don't care what else. Everything else falls behind that. Mm. Wow, P three. Be brief. <laughs> Be brief. <laughs> it, let, listen, everybody else can fill in the blanks what follows behind that. Right. Secure Willie Simmons. That's my hope for the year. There it is. I, I, I need you guys to start making that trend. Start making that trending right now on where you are <laughs> on, on Facebook or on Twitter. You go ahead and, and retweet our show. Take our show link. And there it is right there. There's a hashtag that we want to see trending tonight. OK, because we need and, and I hope those conversations have already started, because I, I think what his contract is through 2025. Correct. Listen, but them schools but that's going to pursue him don't oh, care. I, the oh, schools that are pursuing him don't care when his contract in. I if they got to pay fam you that amount, they will. They don't. It's, hey, it's not about. And, and, and on the series, still, we, we we better start uh making sure we we re up that contract with, with that kind of language, too. What, right. What, so, right. That, the, uh, so that uh, so that so that whatever his exit is, that you know we got enough to to the to, to hire a staff and um invest keep investing in the athletics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Doctor Cavill. I see. I see him. Yeah. He, 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 uh, that question is heavy on my that that quick that is heavy on my mind. It's, 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 see, walk, let, let me tell you when it started in my mind. After the game, after they poured the Gatorade and we were walking across the field and I'm looking at this young guy that these kids absolutely love. Yeah. Along from be, uh, along with being a winner, the kids love following him. Mm -hmm. He's a great leader of these young men and developing these young men. I love, I, listen, it wouldn't mean as much if he wasn't winning, but he is winning. And he's developing young men. I look at Bishop Bonnet. I saw him and he is a, a construction project, project construction engineer. I, I yeah, know I screwed yeah. it up, Kevin, but the, the Bishop yeah. Bonnet, who was running those ball, he's a project construction Manager. engineer now. Yeah. That's that's where you want your coach to develop men like that because we all know it's only a hair of them are going pro. We only got a couple of Marquise Bells and Isaiah Lands and Xavier's, mm -hmm. but the rest of the guys, as they say, I lo like that NCAA commercial. They're going pro in something else. And Willie emphasizes that to these young men. And um, I, like I said, I'm, I'm about to get emotional about how much you see the unity there 
between coach and players. Yeah. And I love it. I do too. I, did you I, see I, to that point? Did you see Jordan Moore? Jordan Moore post? Oh, I saw that. I saw that today. He talked about wanting to wanting to come back and coach at FAMU. Wow. He said FAMU you changed his life. He been at power yeah. power five, two, two power five, JUCO. But he said coming to FAMU you changed his life. And so he wanna come back and coach at FAMU at some point. Well, and 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 if we go back to the season that they were on um what about us? Yeah, why not us? It, why, not it, us? why not us? I'm sorry, why not us? And Izzy, who was from New Orleans, yep. was talking about that this was his safe haven. This is his safe yep. place. FAMU is that. It's home. That is it's what home. we're supposed to that's what we're supposed to be. Yeah. 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 From Bill Bell and Juby Bragg to Willie Simmons. In football, that's what we're supposed to be. Yeah. I um I, I know you've covered it and you've got a chance to talk to a lot of guys this year, Vaughn. But it it hit me and Kelvin, you were there with me and I and I think I may have reiterated I when you see our young men, our representatives, our future alums that are gonna be right there next to us talking ish about whatever else down the road about alumni things. Um, but when you see the kind of character in the kids that not only coach Simmons, but he, he brought in the right kind of coaches that can work with the, and then you get the right. So, so think about this. I I think, I think how hard this is. This is not easy. You got to get the right coaches that can recognize the right players. And then you, you got to be able to, to, to let, let everybody sort of work and develop these young men and you got to get the right it's so hard to find the right kind of kids it's hard it's, it's hard. hard it's it hard is. It, it, it is harder than winning probably winning is hard but finding the right kids to win man that's hard and so i had an appreciation for that in that moment watching the kids watching the families uh in that post celebration in that tunnel and i i wish more people could have seen it. I know we shared some videos. I'm sure you shared videos. I know anyone else who was there, but man, I tell you. So yeah, we, we talk about securing our coach. Um, I, that conversation would have started for me after the SWAC championship game. It would have been, it might've started because that there was a week, you know, you got a little bye week or whatever, a couple of days. Nah, that conversation would have started then, but it's also a conversation to say, you know, if I'm, if I'm going to lose sleep, if I'm VP Sykes and I'm losing sleep every night, she's got to be trying to figure out, where am I going to get the money? How am I going to generate the money to make that happen? Because like you said, the, her success this year will be, you know, that's that's got it. I, I'm going to say this and I'm going to say that. Damn basketball. and try, we, we understand there's, there's we, we got half of it going right and the other half we ain't going to worry about right this moment. But I got to find and got to deal with where am I going to find that? Where am I going to find the money to keep that man and his staff and keep them rolling. And yeah, there's other stuff and it's a complicated job. But if I'm losing sleep over one thing, I'm losing sleep every night trying to figure hey. out where I'm going to get the money to keep Coach Simmons. Brian, so so I like to give solutions. I, I don't like to just throw it out there. So here's a couple of options I, I think we would be smart to do. That is very it. that are very possible. Okay. Well, that's very good, Kevin, because we need we need we need some options right now. Yeah, somebody take so, notes. Somebody take notes. We know y'all <laughs> listening. We know folks are listening, so y'all go ahead and take so, notes. So right now, we got guarantee games, right? We got – well, why not take some of that 700000 on those guarantee games mm. and make it part of a, a bonus structure for our, our football coaches, including our head coaches, to help supplement their staff? If we we, we, we sign up for seven hundred, we're going to – Pay two hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred thousand, whatever it is, for expenses. That leaves us about five hundred thousand. Take a hundred thousand of that, man. Make sure we take care of our coaches. That's something we can do, but that's administrative. That's that's administrative driven. We do it for basketball now. Is in coach coach is in the is in. I know it's in one coach, both coaches' contract in terms of bringing in guaranteed dollars. So so that's one way we can help supplement. We've been talking about a capital campaign for athletics a long time. That's senior executive leadership driven. 
we got to have a capital athletic campaign with endowed scholarships for both athletes as well as endowed scholarship for coaches and support staff. Stanford has that now. And that's why them going to the ACC ain't no big deal for them because everything is endowed in the athletic department. And the athletic, if I'm not mistaken, their athletic endowment, just their athletic endowment, is over 500 million, I know. Mm -hmm. Endowment. Mm -hmm. So any money they raise during the year, that's on top of that. But they athletic department, they, they sponsor the most sports in the NCAA. I think it's 39, if, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. We only sponsor 14. The minimum. So, so that athletic campaign is another option that we need to get moving with endowed scholarships. Well, and I, and I, I just I'll just start with those two for now. 